Here is MMA street brawling pioneer, the colorful Tank Abbott. You can hear the reaction for David Tank Abbott here at the Bank United Center in Miami. He is more public enemy than Flavor Flay, but he really doesn't care. He fights for fun. He fights as a hobby. This is a man who got a start in mixed martial arts back in 1995, had to come up with a style. They called him a pit fighter. He has no respect for traditional martial arts. And really, at the end of the day, he does not respect Kimbo Slice. Tonight, Tank Abbott is looking to rain on Kimbo Slice's Sunshine State Parade. You can see in the crowd the signs, kick-ass Kimbo, a partisan crowd, and get ready for the eruption you're about to experience. We talked about a record crowd in attendance here at the Bank United Center in Miami, and they have all come to bear witness to this. has no amateur wrestling credentials, no Muay Thai expertise. This is a man who cut his teeth on the mean streets of Miami. And tonight, live on Showtime, Kimbo Slice is set to prove he is a legitimate mixed martial arts fighter. We are about to see the streets come to elite. It is Kate Fury, it is Kimbo Slice, and Tank Abbott. Thank you. 
Executive Director Tom Malloy. Introducing our three judges scoring from cage side, all from Florida, Hector Gomez, Chris Lee, and Tim Vanata. And our third man in the cage, introducing Troy Waugh. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds scheduled in a heavyweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from Miami, Please welcome the colorful UFC veteran from Huntington Beach, California, introducing Tank Abbott! And his opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet two inches, he weighed in at 234 pounds. This longtime street fighting icon is described as a brawler with a professional MMA record of one win, no losses, one win coming by way of submission. Representing Team Kimbo, fighting under the tutelage of Boss Rutan, he hails from Miami, Florida, by way of Nassau in the Bahamas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the heavy hand.
exactly what the crowd wanted. Steven, you've been in Japan and the UK. Listen to this crowd. This is insane. Moro, you and I have called some of the greatest fights in Japan. And this reaction, this is loud. I'm glad I got the headphones on. There have been many critics of Kimbo Slice coming into mixed martial arts. I think those critics have been silenced by taking a look at the sea of humanity here at the Bank United Center in Miami. This guy puts asses in seats, my friend. Well, not only that, but he, he knocked out a guy that's really hard to be knocked out. Kagan only really ever been knocked out one guy before, that was by Pedro Hizzo in Brazil. And they, they went out there and they did exactly what everybody wanted. It's fiance Antoinette Ray. We had a chance to visit with her and Kimbo Slice's mother, Mrs. Ferguson. Last night, both of them nervous, but both of them sighing a huge sigh of relief now and enjoying the celebration. Kimbo Slice KOs Tank Abbott. takedown. His secondary game plan was to use the jab. He's got a pretty good jab. Then he went to plan C, which is to throw haymakers, and that was his biggest mistake. And then Kimball went to plan KO. There's a Wapo box. His manager is in my... Okay. It wasn't without a little bit of controversy. Here they go, trading. Kimball trying to find the range on the right hand, using a little bit of movement here. Tank coming in, swatting away. Kimball landing with that left hand right on the button, and then blasting away, hitting Tank directly behind the head a couple times. It was actually a good call by the referee. Kimball got excited. I'm sure he didn't do it intentionally. He was in the heat of the moment, but still, he got a warning, and, and the, the cr crowd didn't like it. The next knockdown, Kimball was hunting for blood. So was Tank. It's just that Kimball was a little bit more compact, using head movement, and it was a beautiful right hand right on the jaw. Sent Tank down to elbows and knees. Tank worked for a takedown, and then they were shooting it out again. Tank hitting. You know, I mean, Kimball was catching him with good counter shots. Boy, there's the knockout right there. Right on the button. Tank went down and he knew. I, I, Tank will not find any controversy on this. I'm sure Tank will admit, hey, look, he did that after Pedro Hizzo beat him. He said, you, you beat me. Okay. Kimbo right on mark. All the work in the gym. All the focus. He's getting sharper, folks. Tank brought it, though, but he just had no defense. No head movement when he needed it. Kimbo hunted it down and slew him. Tonight here at the University of Miami, Kimbo Slice proves that he is indeed the big man on campus. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 43 seconds in round number one. Our referee in charge, Troy Wall, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Kimbo Slice.